hello guys welcome back uh, to the vdc space today we're going to be doing a bridge deck with the diaphragm wall inside uh, this is a pretty interesting tutorial for those who are bridge enthusiasts so yeah uh, we're going to use a structural framing template uh, for this uh, project and we're going to use different uh, extrusions and sweeps in order for us to generate different profiles and then we're going to uh combine it as a single family and then we're gonna load it into our project uh for our diaphragm wall we also gonna use an extrusion based on our profile inside of our bridge deck before i get started i would like to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel if you are new if you already subscribed hit that notification button as i upload BIM modeling tutorials and revit tutorials three times every week i cover different topics from wastewater to roads and networks bridges uh, buildings, architecture, structural, wastewater, and so on. Now, without further ado, let's uh, jump into Revit. So here we are in Revit uh, 24. So we're gonna under families, we're gonna go to New, and then we're gonna drop down and then use Metric Structural Framing Beams and Braces, and then we're gonna open. And now on our template, uh, we're going to remove this extrusion and then this reference line and then these reference planes. So we're going to be left with uh, the left and the right reference plane. So we're going to generate our own reference plane in order for us to generate uh, different profiles for our extrusions. So uh, the first thing is uh, we're going to adjust the length and then make it 14,000 millimeters and then just drag our annotations so that we can see our reference our reference planes. And then the next thing is we're gonna go to create and then choose a reference plane and then we're gonna randomly place uh, reference planes on each side. Um, we're gonna adjust the offset and then from this, from the left reference plane, this reference plane, we wanna offset it by 3000 millimeters, enter. So we can just remove this one actually. We just gonna mirror them and then copy them to the other side. So we're gonna select this one also and then copy it to the right again by another, uh, by another 3000 millimeters. And then we're gonna select these two reference planes, go to mirror pick axis, and then pick the middle reference plane, and then it's copied to the other side. So we're gonna generate actually one, two, three, four, five extrusions. So, but it's easier uh, if we what we generate on the left hand side, we can just mirror it and copy it to the right hand side. So let's uh, generate our geometry by going to the left elevation and then we're going to use this as our insertion point and this is what we have this is our reference level and our the top of our bridge gather is going to run on this reference level i think uh, we can set it up like that so we're going to go to create and then create our profile go to extrusion and then set your reference to reference plane left and say okay and then from this insertion point you're going to take it to the right by you're going to say equals to 12,800 millimeters divided by 2 and press enter. So it's 6.4. And then you're going to take it down by 200 millimeters and press enter. Just press escape. So from there, you're going to go to create again. And then we're going to create temporary reference planes in order for us to generate our lines. So you're going to go to reference plane. And then just uh, from this point, they draw a horizontal reference plane, which uh, we are going to use it uh, temporarily. So you're going to select it and then press copy. And then you're going to copy it uh, down. You're going to copy another reference plane downwards by 250 millimeters and press enter. And then you're going to select uh, the first one again. And then you're going to press copy again and then you're going to copy it down by a further 100 millimeters. Perfect. So we have three reference planes. And um, you're going to say create again, go to reference plane, and then you're going to draw another vertical reference plane like this. And then you're going to select it. And then from this point, you're going to copy it to the right by 600. And uh, actually, you're going to make it uh, three. 
3250 millimeters per center and then you're going to copy it to the further right by uh, by 650 millimeters yes and then um you're gonna go to create again and then you're gonna select your reference plane again and then set set your offset to set your offset to 2400 millimeters and then you're gonna uh, draw a horizontal reference plane and then as you can see it's indicated at the top but we, we want it at the bottom so you're gonna press a space bar and then it's gonna adjust itself it's gonna be copied to the other side so this is what we have and now we can we can continue uh, generating our profile so you're gonna go to line again and then from this insertion point you're gonna uh, take it diagonally to this insertion point and then you're gonna take it further diagonally to to uh, actually uh, just press escape uh, just delete that line and then press your line again from this insertion point you're gonna take it to, to this insertion point and then this insertion point so yeah this is what we have and then just press your line again and then from this insertion point you're gonna take it to the right by 2500 millimeters and this is what we have and now the next thing is you're gonna say pick lines and then set your offset to 300 millimeters and then you're gonna select this diagonal line and then you're gonna press escape and then go to pick lines again and then you're gonna set your offset to um, 200 millimeters and then you're gonna press this line and this is what you have so you're gonna say trim and extend trim and extend these two now go to your line again select your line and then from this insertion point you're going to take it diagonally to the to to the top until you meet this insertion point so you're going to press it like this perfect and now the offset um, actually i want the offset from the top to be 300 so you're going to take it to this insertion point perfect and now you're just going to adjust this or use trim and extend and now go to line again from this point you're going to take it to the right until uh the until the middle reference plane so you created half of your profile now to select all these lines you're gonna hover over one line and press tab on your keyboard and select it and then go to another one hover over it press tab on your keyboard until everything is pre-selected and then you're gonna say control select both of them and now you're gonna go to mirror pick axis and then pick your middle reference plane and this is what you have but i want us to have a single line so i'm gonna select uh, one line on each side and then remove it and just drag this line to the other side i'm gonna do the same thing this side delete this line and then drag this one to the other side and then this one i'm gonna remove it also and then i'm gonna drag this one to the other side and then this one i'm gonna delete it also and then drag this one to the other side now i'm gonna remove these uh, temporary reference planes that i've used so i'm gonna drag this one to the other side then drag this one to the, to the other side perfect and now in order for us to make uh, this uh, family intelligent obviously you're gonna have to add uh, parameters to that but uh, I, I want to keep this tutorial as short as i can so we are just gonna create a dummy family if i may uh, uh, describe it like that so we're just gonna apply material to this uh, so i'm gonna make it concrete casting place concrete and say okay and then i'm gonna say finish go back to your floor plan reference level drag your extrusion uh, to your your second reference plane and then lock it and then drag it from the other side to the left reference plane and then lock it remember in order for you to control its length or when it's loaded into your project you have to lock it between your reference planes so i'm going to select my extrusion and then say mirror pick axis and then pick the middle reference plane and then it's copied to the other side so i'm going to press al on my keyboard for align press my extrusion and my reference plane lock it my extrusion reference plane and then lock it open up the 3d view just to see your progress and this is what you have so i'm going to change the level of detail to fine and my visual graphics to realistic so this is what you have and now go back to your uh, reference level or floor plan so we're gonna create uh, another extrusion 
uh, by using a swept blend, because, uh, which consists of two different profiles. So in order for us to do that, we're going to use a swept blend. So go to swept blend, and then you're going to say sketch path. And then right in the middle, we're going to draw your path, which is 3,000 millimeters. So you're going to have your profile one there, and then your profile two there. And then you're going to say finish edit mode. Now you're going to say select profile one, edit, edit profile, and then set your reference, open, set your view to the left elevation. And this is what we have. So you're going to use the first, uh, the first extrusion as your reference. Uh, as your reference. So you're going to say pick lines, hover over your the, uh, the, the, the outer lines of your bridge getter, and then press tab on your keyboard until everything is selected. And then you're going to select it like this. And then uh, you're going to say uh, finish edit mode, and then open up your 3D view, um, uh, select profile two, edit profile, go back to your left, uh, go back to your left, Elevation, pick lines again, hover over these lines, and then press tab on your keyboard until everything is selected. And you're going to say finish edit mode. And then you're going to say, so yeah, this is this is what you have. Uh, you're going to select your, your sweep or your extrusion, and then you're going to apply material to this, concrete cast in place, and this is what you have. So you can just, uh, uh, before we copy it, um, as you can see, it's a solid. We have to create like a void extrusion right inside. And in order for us to do that, we're going to use the same, the same option uh, when it comes to our forms, which is the swept blend. So see that, uh, just go to create void forms. And then when you drop down, you're going to choose the last one, which is void swept blend. And then you're going to say sketch path. And then from this point, you're going to sketch your path, which is 3000 millimeters. And then you're going to say finish, select profile one, edit profile, and then go to left elevation. And then pick, pick your lines and then hover over the, the interior of your deck and then press tap on your keyboard until everything is selected. And then you're going to say finish. While you edit, you're going to say uh, select profile two, edit profile, and then pick lines again, hover over the interior of your deck, and then press tab on your keyboard until everything is selected, and this is what you have. But in this moment, it's going to become a little bit uh, tricky. You're going to select these three lines, and then you're going to select your move option, and then from this point, you're going to move it upwards by... 400 millimeters and then you're going to press al for alignment and then you, you are just going to attach these lines and this is what you have so the only line that's going to be offset is this line and then you're going to say finish edit mode go to your 3d view finish edit mode and then you're going to say cut while your void extrusion is still it's uh, it's still selected and now you can select your void form and then your solid uh, extrusion go to your reference level or your floor plane and then go to mirror pick axis and then pick the middle reference plane and then everything is copied to the other side so this is what we have and now the next thing is uh, we're gonna add another uh, extrusion right in the middle uh, which which is gonna host our diaphragm wall and in order for us to do that, uh, we can still select this one, go to reference level, press copy, and then you're going to copy it and then uncheck your constraint and then you're going to copy it to this side and then you're going to drag your extrusion just to adjust it and then lock it against this reference level. So every, every extrusion that you, you create, uh, Every geometry you create on your families, uh, which is going to be sort of like a single family whereby you control its length, you have to lock them against each other. So when you go to your reference level and then say type in AL on your keyboard, you're going to have to select twice where they intersect and then lock it until you're going to select twice until you see a lock option and then lock it. And then do the same thing over and over again until everything is locked against each other. 
so <clears throat> the last thing is go to your 3d view select your the metal uh, uh, extrusion go to edit extrusion go to your left elevation and then you're going to select the bottom line and then drag it upwards until it meets the top of this line and then say finish edit mode open up the 3d view and this is this is what we have this is what it looks like inside and now obviously our uh, let me, let's just go to the reference level and then open up your section uh, annotation and then place your section like this and then you can just drag your view extend and then press double double uh, click on your section so this is our section our diaphragm wall is going to be hosted on this part so this is how our our bridge getter looks inside and then you're going to go to for your diaphragm wall it's going to be actually easy you're just going to go to your left elevation and then say create extrusion and then set your reference to reference plane left and say okay go to pick lines and then you're gonna just pick these lines and then you're just gonna say trim and extend these trim and extend this and say finish edit mode and then it's already applied the material to this the only thing left is you, you're just gonna drag your diaphragm wall to this reference point and then lock it and then drag the other side to this reference point and then make sure you lock it and then another thing it's locked against the reference uh, planes we placed but it's not locked against uh, the two extrusions that are intersecting so you're gonna select your your diaphragm wall again select your ex the other extrusions lock it select your diaphragm wall select the other extrusions and then lock it perfect so this is what we have so the the last thing is you can select your diaphragm wall uh, your diaphragm wall and then say edit extrusion and then you are just gonna add a void we just gonna cut the void in the middle and you can just use uh, you can just place temporary reference uh, points reference lines reference planes in the middle like this just to use as our reference and then from the side we're gonna offset it by 750 and then the total is gonna be 1500 and then from the top and down we're gonna offset it by 500 so the total depth of this void is gonna be 1000 millimeters actually we can make it let's make it 800 instead so this side uh, so the half it's gonna be 400 and say finish edit mode open up the 3d view and this is what you have so obviously your tendons will run through the diaphragm wall so i think yeah this is a pretty much valuable uh, visualization for the guys at site who wants who would like to see how the bridge will look uh, after they construct it so uh, let's just go to we're just going to open up a new project the construction template and say okay and then go back to our family and say load into project and close i'm not going to save this i already did and then remember it behaves like a beam so i'm just going to place it uh, remember it's 14,000 millimeters in length i'm going to say enter and then open up by three